Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis 1, 26 through 31. But first, have you ever wondered why you're here? Like, why are you on this earth? Why did you end up in the family that you ended up in? Why were you born in the country that you were born in? Or why did God make you the way that you are? We don't have enough time in this video to get into all of your issues, I mean, questions. But today we're going to look at the sixth day of creation, the day that humankind was created. And I want to point out to you three things that might help inform your thoughts going forward. In Genesis 1, beginning in a, uh, verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, and all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. And then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground and everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all that he had made and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. You see, guys, God, he originally gave humanity everything that we needed to fulfill our purpose and live lives of joy. And what I want you to know today is God created you with intention. Back in uh, verse 26, it said, So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. You know, those, those funny personality quirks uh, or the way that your brain interprets the world differently. Maybe it's your physical capabilities, all of your combined strengths and all of your weaknesses. All these things, the core of your true identity was made intentionally by God to be the way that it is. God did not create you an accident. You were not a surprise to God when you showed up, and God has never abandoned you. Yes, it's true that some of you have been hurt and changed from this original design due to sin, but God created you intentionally. Second thing I want you to kind of pull from this is, is God wants you to succeed. Back in Genesis 1, it says, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it, reign over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and all the animals that scurry along the ground. And then God said, look, I've given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I've given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky and the small animals that scurry along the ground. Everything that has life. And that is what happened. You see, guys, God wants you to succeed. Success always, or doesn't always look the same way to God as it does to the world. In fact, they are quite often different things. They are different and competing things. But God wants you to succeed at living a life of fulfillment and accomplishing your one life's purpose. And not only does he want you to succeed, but according to the Bible, according to what we just read, he equips you with everything you need to accomplish your purpose. And the third thing I want you guys to understand is God's purposes for you are good. Back in Genesis, it said, Then God looked over all that he had made, and he saw that it was very good. What I want you guys to know is God created you because he has something amazing planned for you. But more than just being it being your personal mission, more than it just being fulfilling for you, the plans he has, he has for you leads you to doing good. See, he wants you on his team, and he wants you devoted to being a light in this dark world. He wants you repaying e- uh, evil with kindness. He wants you doing good in a world of bad. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. I want you guys to take these three statements and apply them to your life today. 
Speak them over your spouse and the kids and the teenagers in your life. I want you guys to take these, speak these in your life today, and here they are again. First one being God created you with intention. Second one is God wants you to succeed. And thirdly, uh, God's purposes for you are good. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.